Welcome to another edition of our This Day in Sneaker History column, and I'm your host, George Kill. In case you missed it, last week we revisited the moment in which Michael Jordan returned to the game from baseball wearing the Chicago Air Jordan 10. But today, we take you back further in time, before his first championship, before his NBA arrival, even before he laced up a pair of Jordan. Wait, what? 30 years ago on this exact day, MJ, a then North Carolina Tar Heel, nailed the game-winning shot against the Georgetown Hoyas in New Orleans, a city where this year's Final Four will also take place. MJ later described that shot as a turning point in his career, but who knew this would be the beginning of everybody paying attention to his encore footwear? Michael Jordan began his post-high school career in the Converse Pro Leather, a shoe that originally released in 1976. It is Converse's first full grain leather shoe to feature the Chevron logo, and is also closely tied to Dr. J, Julius Irving. For its 35th anniversary last year, Converse First String released a limited number of 168 pairs of this shoe in its original color scheme. Now obviously this isn't the pair that Michael Jordan and the Tar Heels laced up in that memorable game. Their pair featured Carolina blue hand to where you see the navy ones on this shoe. Which brings us to our next point about the Converse Pro Leather. There was supposed to be a Pro Leather release directly tied to MJ's memorable shot in the 82 championship game. The Pro Leather in a white, Carolina blue, and gold colorway was set to be the third shoe in the Air Jordan DMP pack that released in 2006. Due to whatever reasons, it was left out of the pack. But photos of the sample version have been floating around the web for years now. We all know this is Dr. J's unofficial signature shoe, but MJ's first memorable moment in this sneaker cannot be denied. Until next time, your host, George Kill.